Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. Recently, we added the McLaren F1 to 1320 Challenge, the most recent update. Now, something that, you know, we kind of realized is rebalancing is a thing in pretty much every game that's out there. You kind of deal with it when new items or new vehicles or whatever kind of game it is get added to the game. Well, the McLaren is not running live what it was running and testing because we used a honda civic as the test mule for the car and didn't realize that were some variables that were wrong in testing so it's not running right it's running 6.8 to 6.9 whereas i originally meant it to run like 6.4s but we decided to make a community poll and you guys voted unanimously to make it run similar to the f type with 16 votes for make it a high five second car i understand that logic behind that it's a very expensive car in the game it's 1.2 mil in the car showroom it's it should be a premium feeling car so make it run similar to a premium car i can understand that so today i just want to show you guys live what it runs and how it races if we well we will be making this change at some point and I'll explain basically the only thing that's going to change with the car. So as you can see, I have it set up here with just some garbage ratios. It's not very good. But if I run it right now, as is with the 2400-ish horsepower, runs about 5.84s. My best in this, on this testing platform, has been 5.833. If I can hit 5.833, people live are going to hit 5.7, just like the F-Type does. I'm not the fastest in the game most of the time, only on very specific cars. <laughs> but this is about what it's going to run. The only thing that's going to change is we'll probably add the supercharger and pulleys to the parts showroom, or the parts shop, and that'll be about the only change to the game. So, you know, if you guys are excited, you know, let us know. But this was kind of a unanimous vote on the Discord, and I just wanted to make a quick public video about it. You know, basically showing, hey, this is what it could be running here probably sometime in the next week. So, you know, it's a fun little car. I really like racing it. I don't see a big problem with it running 6.8s, 6.4s, 5.8s, whatever. I just didn't want it to be, you know, a... Uh, 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 crazy supercar that was in the fours like some of the other cars we have are so do one more run let's see if i can get a little bit better here i mean when i'm only like a dozen races into testing <laughs> don't expect me to run five sevens in a car that might run five sevens after people have it for a few days so let's see also would you guys be interested in better tires what i mean by that is tires that actually apply more grip for cars like the dodge viper specifically or you know higher horsepower cars can get grippier tires than just the uh just these like we could add you know remove the nitto branding and kind of hide it we could add some actual drag slicks to the game for very specific cars that have high horsepower and that would allow them to rev a little bit on launch. We discovered a glitch recently. The tire grip uh, was thrown through the roof, and some cars became way more fun to run head-to-head. -head. So let us know in the comments as well, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.